Hey guys, uh, so welcome to another Linux tutorial. Um, this is how to get Ryujinx LDN, multi the multiplayer version, um, onto your uh, Pop! OS. So just to give you guys a little bit of context, um, uh, before going to Pop! OS, I did come from Ubuntu 22.04, and all I did for that was I came to this website, which, which I will link in the description, because I think it'll help you guys um, all I did was download this. Let me do that right now. Um, all I did was download it while I was in Ubuntu, and I extracted it. How'd that go? How'd that go? All right, cool. Let's try that again. Oh, it's because I'm on Dolphin. I'm not sure how to do it on Dolphin. Um, anyway, geez. great tutorial, guys. Where's here? It is. Here's the tar. So all I did was extract. And uh, here's the, this worked on Ubuntu, but when I moved, when I hopped over to Pop! OS, um, all I did was like move my files over and I clicked on this and it wasn't working. So uh, I was really confused and because um, it doesn't have a .exe and for some reason Pop! didn't like that. There is a way to get it running with the terminal, but if you're just coming, like if you're really new to Pop! if um, you're really new to Linux, um, doing terminal commands, because there is a command to make it executable, uh, but it could be a little bit scary for some people. So we're going to do it. I mean, we are going to use the terminal, but we're going to make this a little bit easier. So uh, what I did on Pop! OS was um, I use this. Uh, this is an installer. It's called Pinejinx. And this is where we're going to have to use the terminal, so I'm going to go ahead and open that up. All right, so all you're going to have to do is you're going to, well, first, what I did, and you don't have to do it in this order, but uh, I did it this way anyway. Um, so I decided to read this because I saw these warning signs, and I'm like, hmm, that doesn't look good, but there, it's fine. Um, so it just says if you're on a Ubuntu or a base distro like Pop, uh, you'll have to install this. So all I did was I copied this. Uh, don't worry about this because that's Fedora. That's not you. Um, so copy this, paste that into the terminal, and you don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, and then... This you don't, this I didn't have to worry about. I don't think, I did it anyway, but um, this is if you're using game mode, which I am. So um, if you're doing that, just put, copy this into the terminal also. Um, I don't think it asked me to do that the first time though. I'm not sure. And then after this, I didn't really do anything. Really, it was just this thing that you have to worry about. But anyway, sorry. Went on a little tangent there. So after you, uh, after you do this, um, do that again. You're going to want to copy that. Go to the terminal again. Paste it. And here you have your in installer. This is a really easy installer. Um, so you want to install the LDN version. Um, obviously, they have, like, if you put one here, uh, it'll install the regular Ryujinx. Two will uninstall it. And, well, self explanatory, right? Or at least it should be. So right here, you just put four, then enter. Then it's going to ask you your graphics card. That's going to be up to you. For game mode, I put yes. For disable um, window, I put no. 
And that's pretty much it. Um, I'll disable full screen, I put no. And if you wanted to make an alias, I put yeah. Um, and that's it. Like once you get through answering the steps, uh, you should have, go over here. Uh, you should have this. Now, um, when I, uh, right now I'm using KDE Plasma as my environment. If you're unsure of what that is, um, if you're really, really new to the pop, you don't know what I'm talking about, you don't know what KDE Plasma is, don't worry. Um, this is, doesn't apply to you all, just, um, but uh, yeah, just kind of cover yours. But if you have KDE Plasma, this should work just fine. Like you'll have this and you're good to go. Um, but if you just install pop, you haven't done anything. The first thing that you did was you made a password, you logged on and you're like, I want to get three Jinx LDN. Um, you download this file, at least for me, it didn't work. Right. So what I did was, um, I went to open with another application, I went to view applications and I went to, where is it? Do I have to search for it? No. So I just clicked on this, I put select, and then it got, uh, it got working. So really that's, that's how I got Raging Thaldian to work. Um, if you do have any problems, like with the installer or anything, uh, you can go ahead and record yourself doing it and you can record the problem and if it still isn't working like i mean you can record the problem you can send me the link let me know and yeah hope you found this useful um if you need the prod keys or um, the firmware uh here on the website there's a bunch of info you can get but yeah uh, let me know if you found this useful if you didn't, and yeah, hope you guys have a good day.